Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to 2020. It's going to be an awesome year. So one of my goals for this year is to get my house organized. It's just out of control. My husband and I have so much stuff and it's just everywhere and it is time for everything to find a home. And my goal is to have this whole place organized by March 1st of 2020. That's in two months. So I'm gonna start with my pantry and I'm gonna take you along for the ride. It's gonna be interesting. So behind me is our pantry. It's total chaos. We have camping stuff. We have our dog food stuff. We have our food. I don't even know what else is in there. I think our games. Anyways, I'm gonna open the door and I'm gonna reveal the messy pantry. I'm sorry if I give you nightmares. <sighs> Can you guys see what I have to deal with? Like, I can't even really stock up on food because I have nowhere to like put everything. So, I've sat down and I figured out different steps and things I can do to try and get this clean and organized once and for all. Because you hear it all the time that people get their stuff organized and then it just goes back. So, first step, clear it all out. Empty it all out, all of it. And then I'm gonna go through everything and if something's expired or doesn't belong in the food pantry, it's getting put to the side or thrown away. Um, and then I'm gonna categorize everything into groups and kind of figure out what I want baskets or containers and then we go shopping for that stuff and I'm going to take you with me. So let's get started. So things aren't going quite as planned. This is only half the pantry. I don't have enough room to clear out the entire pantry like I planned. So I have to do it in sections. I mean, look at all this crap. <laughs> and look at how gross the shelves are. I think I'm going to paint him. Yep, I'm going to paint it. I'm trying to spend as little money as I can, so I took two whites that I had and mixed them together. Look how beautiful it is, all nice and clean and fresh looking. I even got down on my hands and knees and scrubbed the floor in there. It's so pretty now. Since the paint's drying, might as well go shopping. This is the Dollar Tree. I didn't get any video of the dollar store, but it's the same idea. Look at all this stuff for organizing. Hey guys, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm fighting a cold right now. 
but I really wanted to try and get this video finished so that I could show you the big reveal. If you've been following me on Facebook, you'll have seen all of the pictures that I've been taking of um, my hot mess that I've been working on. So let's get to it. All right, well here is the door. And before I open the doors, I just want to point out that I am going to be redoing this little entryway because it's a hot mess. When we moved in here, they did not paint things, update things, nothing. And uh, it's time for things to get cleaned up around here and we're just going to handle it ourselves because we have a really cool landlord and our rent is really inexpensive. So I apologize for the hot mess you see right here. But let's open up the pantry and see what we got going on. Ooh. And there it is, all nice and organized. You guys, this took me over a week to do because I do work full time during the day, <clears throat> Monday through Friday. So even trying to get this done with the cold was a bit of a challenge. But look, everything's so nice and neat and organized and has a home. I can actually walk into my pantry now. I couldn't do that before. I'd have to like lean over to get to anything. So I'm going to walk you through everything that I did and uh, yeah, hopefully I give you guys some good ideas for your pantry. Okay, so first let me talk about like, I know originally I said I was going to clear everything out and then I was going to separate it all and get rid of what's expired and put things in, you know, categories. It didn't go that way at all. I had so much stuff that I literally had to do things in sections. So first I started out with these shelves. I got everything cleared out here, went through everything, got rid of what we were going to not keep or what was bad, whatever. And um, ultimately what I decided to do was I approached organizing my pantry based on what really is going to work for us as a family. Um, I know there's a lot of videos out there that show things on pretty much how to make it look all pretty, but you can make your pantry look beautiful, but if it doesn't work for you, you're not going to maintain it. So for us, I did baskets. Um, and because I had so much stuff in here, I never really like, I guess, stockpiled up on food. I only bought what we needed for the week and that was it. So I have a lot of empty baskets right now, but like this one, <clears throat> I bought all these baskets at the dollar store. They were only $1.99. I mean, these are really great baskets. They come in different colors and I think um, I have a little clip on the different baskets and stuff. You can also buy baskets at Dollar Tree. Um, Walmart's also a great place for that. So I bought six, seven, of those baskets. I need to get two more, but they were out of the color, so I gotta go back and hopefully get two more. Um, so it was important though to me that when I opened the doors, or if the doors were left open, that um, at least this section was somewhat pleasing and very organized looking. <coughs> Excuse me. So basically, it's just really convenient if I need some type of canned goods, I can just pull my basket out, search for what I want, put my basket back. So that was my thought with these. Um, <clears throat> and then over here, I used to have all my appliances, kitchen appliances, in the kitchen cabinets underneath next to my stove. But you know, some of them are really heavy and it's hard like to kneel down and you're lifting that and it just didn't make sense to do it that way. So, since I was able to get a bunch of stuff cleared out, I was able to put the cooking dishes and some appliances and um, 
basically kept them um, on the shelves where it was easy to grab, where I wasn't either pulling them down or lifting, because they're heavy. So let me bring this closer so I can show you guys, hopefully, how that looks. As you can see, like I have a whole shelf here that's empty. So I'm not quite sure. Maybe now that I can like stock up on some food, <laughs> I'll be able to put some food here. We do have our family games up at the top. So you can see that. And um, I'm hoping to eventually move those into our coat closet. But for now, that's their home. And then down below, <clears throat> I don't know if this will show you guys. Okay, so down below here is where I put all our paper towels. And then I got these baskets also at the dollar store. I believe those were $2.99. And I stored, um, my husband loves these drinks, so I stored his drinks in there. Our reusable gift baskets. Which the nice thing about that is these are plastic baskets, so I was able to kind of just shove it in there because it wasn't, it was a little bit bigger than that space, but it works. And then I have some extra little baskets that I bought. <clears throat> these were $1.50 at the dollar store, and I'm sure I'll be using those for something. Um, the plastic bags that we get from the store, I like to save them. So I just folded them up a certain way and stored them in a line in that basket. Here, obviously, you know, our uh, Ziploc bags, saran wrap, all that good stuff. I bought one of these, like, paper tray holders. I actually got this one at the Dollar Tree. So they were a dollar a tray. And that worked really good to hold all that stuff. Um, I do plan on buying one of those hooks to hang up right here for our broom and mops and stuff so that they're not just sitting on the floor <coughs> excuse me over here is our dog brushes the bleach for our clothes laundry detergent goes in there our dog food is over here i also got these at the dollar dollar store. Those I believe were also $1.99 for each and they worked really good for our paper goods and that one for our coffee. Well, my husband drinks coffee. Nobody else in here really does. <laughs> and then I got these little baskets here because of this pole. The bigger baskets won't fit there so I found matching smaller ones that worked perfect for that space. And that is pretty much it for the pantry. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I did in the kitchen area because this turned out to be uh, a pantry kitchen cabinet organization project. So let's head on over to Okay, so my first cabinet. I want to show you this cabinet. Now my kitchen is very small, I don't have a lot of space and this is actually where I was storing all of our appliances. So you can see how it would be kind of a pain in the butt to like get down here and pick up, you know, a crock pot or something. So what I ultimately ended up doing was just taking all our Tupperware and getting them organized into these three baskets and putting them down here, which I love because it's just easy to move these out to get what I need if I need to get into the back. And it's just really light. I just figured, you know what, why am I putting heavy stuff down at the bottom to lift it? it? just didn't make sense to me. So, I switched my appliances with the Tupperware. So the other thing I did, like, let me stand back and show you guys. The kitchen cabinet, like, whoever did this design, I'm, I don't get it. Like, why would you put a cabinet all the way flush to the wall? Because trying to reach into this cabinet is a big pain in the butt. Like, you would think that it would at least be at an angle. I don't know. That's just me. So, I ended up putting stuff in here that we just don't have, get to all the time. And it was a pain in the butt anytime we wanted anything. So, I ended up taking all the stuff that was in here, putting it in the pantry, and at the top shelf, 
I have stuff like vases. That's a teapot that my mom gave me that I hope eventually I can display because it's so cute. <clears throat> but, you know, I'm only going to pull those vases out when I have flowers. And I have those that we really only use during the holidays. <clears throat> Guys, I apologize for my voice. Being sick sucks. Um, then the other thing that I did is I took this shelf right here and I brought it up just enough so that I can lay all our water bottles across. And those aren't too hard to get to. <clears throat> and then I went to Walmart and I got this Lazy Susan. This is probably the most expensive thing that I bought. It was $20. But I absolutely love it. And it just makes it easy when I open this door if I need medicine or my vitamins my husband needs anything we can just spin it these things right here <clears throat> come out so if we wanted to pull out the whole thing we can and then in my findings of cleaning out my pantry you see this jar here is filled with nothing but cough drops <laughs> because it was so unorganized in there we had like four bags and I already had this jar, so I just dumped them all in there. And my husband's multivitamins are in that container. Which really, I probably should have my Lazy Susan over there and these over here. Because it makes it easier to reach. So I'll probably end up switching those. And that's pretty much the only thing I did with my cabinets. I mean, I cleaned out stuff and <clears throat> just reorganized everything. My husband is a huge huge coffee mug collector. I got him to get rid of six of them. So I just straightened that out and the same with the rest of the cabinets. All right guys, well that's it. That's my pantry organization. Um, just a few tips, things that I noticed as I was getting things organized. I got rid of a lot of stuff, things that we just never used. We've been together, married 13, 12 or 13 years. Gosh, I don't even know. Um, and so there were just things that I was like, we don't even use this. Like, why are we holding on to this? It makes no sense. So I got rid of it. And the rule of thumb is, you know what, if you've got a lot of stuff and you're trying to get it cleaned up and organized, my best advice is just get rid of the stuff you're not using. Don't have that mentality of, well, what if I need it later? Well, if you need it later, you can go out and buy it, but you haven't used it up to this point, so you're probably not going to need it later also. So keep that in mind. Also, when you're organizing stuff, you want to do things that make sense, that work for your family. You don't necessarily want it to be pretty, because as much as pretty is nice and pleasing to the eye, it needs to be convenient and it needs to make sense and it needs to work for your family. It needs to be functional. So that was the whole point of doing the baskets here. Moving the heavy appliances over here, putting the Tupperware down in my cabinet down there. <coughs> Excuse me. Gosh. The cold is just my, everybody at my office has been sick. They were all sick before Christmas, and I'm the last one to get it. It really sucks. Anyways. Um, so, and the other thing that I noticed is because... I was leaving certain appliances and items in boxes thinking that, oh, it'll be easy to store and I can put it on a shelf and then stack stuff on top. It wasn't getting used. So there were two items that I did keep because they were left in boxes and I'm hoping that now that they're out and easy to get to, I'll use it. If I find that I don't within the next year, I'm going to get rid of it. So those are my few little tips. Make it convenient. Make it make sense. If you haven't used it, you're probably not going to use it, so you might as well get rid of it. Things are always replaceable. If you guys enjoyed this organization video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments what was your favorite thing about this whole organization, transformation. And if you'd like to see more videos on organizing, let me know, because I got a whole house to do. So until next time, be safe, be healthy, have a great week.